here your trusted youtube nerd when it comes to everything guitar shit okay so welcome to the world of quenzel custom guitars extremely high-end extremely hand-built german quality custom guitars if you follow my channel you might have already seen the standard the standard with p90s and now we're going in a totally different direction but nonetheless amazing this guitar is very hard to describe, but very freaking cool. It is the Butterfly. It is an amalgam, a mutation of many different types of guitars in one, and very unique. And most of all, it's very green, which is way cool. It's got the most amazing lime green color you can imagine. He already made one in orange, which looks no less amazing. Um, this is all nitro paint stuff, very thin. He's, he's very anal about making sure that the paint is very thin and lets the wood breathe and all that stuff. 
He, who's he? Markus Quenzel. Luthier, guitar builder, guitar nerd, just like us. So, what do we have here? Well, first of all, you already saw the track. It's a surf guitar. I didn't know how to play surf guitar. So, I couldn't just make a video. I sat here for pretty much half a day trying to learn what it means to play surf guitar. And hopefully, I could show you in the track where this can go. Every single video I watched about surf guitar said you have to have a Fender Jazzmaster type vibrato or a Bixby. Okay? This is a Bixby from Dan Electro. Is it Dan Electro? No, Duesenberg. I'm an idiot. Not Dan Electro. They don't make Bixby's. Bixby's. It's a Duesenberg, but he will also use original Bixby's from now on. Um, I've never actually used one. I have to admit that. So I had a lot of fun with this. It is, without a doubt, the smoothest tremolo. Is that really right? Tremolo is technically wrong. It's a vibrato because it changes the pitch not the volume. Volume is tremolo. This is tremolo. Okay, this. Is vibrato. But that's just on the side. So this is a vibrato. Anyway, it is the smoothest fucking thing I have ever played. And... Everything you heard in the track. Every single bend I did with it. Which went rather far. Did not detune it. Now, that's quality. So, this is the butterfly. Um, because his son, when he saw the drawings of this guitar, said, Hey, looks like a butterfly. Bam! Name done. Um, what do we have? This part looks more like the controls on a jazz bass. Which also means the guitar plug will go straight on top. Wouldn't be my first choice, but you know what? If you told him I want this, but with the plug on the side, I'm pretty sure he would do that for you because everything is custom. So this is more jazz bass. This is a little bit Fender Jaguar-like with a three-way switch, which is a, let me check, switchcraft toggle. On top, more like a Les Paul, we got two humbuggers, but they're very special ones. They're, you've probably heard of Filtertrons. These are from Jason Lola pickup guru from the US and Marcus swears on his pickups so these are called Lollatrons and um, I wish I could tell you what's special about these but I can't why they're different but all these Filtertron pickups look similar might be metal but I don't even I have no idea what they do they just sound cool so does it sound like a Strat type single coil guitar no does it sound like a humbucker guitar no how does it sound? It sounds like a surf guitar. Okay, these are also in a lot of Gretsch guitars, a lot of the thick body, like semi hollows, as is the Bixby. But funny enough, the body is mahogany, so you can expect a nice warm sound, but with a beautiful curly maple neck. It says curly maple. That doesn't look like curly maple to me. But what do I know? Apparently this is curly maple. Oh, look at the neck. Come the fuck on. Look at this this green on here. Um, we have uh, Goto tuners. Kind of, you know, uh, vintage style looking because it makes sense on a guitar like this. Oh, I haven't even pointed that out on any of these guitars. The little Hessian lion thing with the guitar. It's like the area where we live in is called Hessen. Hesse. Weißt du? Oh. Beer. Eh? And uh, he has a little symbol of our state with a guitar. I think that's very cute. And it's silver embossed. Very nice looking. Um, real bone. Vintage bone. Vintage bone. Not just, you know, it's not any cow or lion or tiger that's in here. It's an old, very long dead, dead animal. Um... What else do I have? Uh, the Duesenberg Deluxe Tremo Tre what? Tremola. Deluxe Tremola. Um, uh, CTS Custom Potties. And a Black Beauty thingy in between them that does something about sound. Um, now, the bridge apparently is a mastery bridge. To me, it looks like someone just bent a piece of metal and put some shit on there. 
Um, but apparently, when it comes to the uh, this type of vibrato, this is the holy grail. My old guitar teacher Kuno came by, he picked up this guitar, he said, Oh my god, it's got a mastery bridge, give me a screwdriver, I want to take this off. Because he really wanted it. So, among people that know shit about this, which is not me, that apparently is the holy grail. Doesn't get nice. I think alone this piece alone cost you about 150 bucks. Talking about money, you've already seen it in the video. This guitar clocks in at about 2,900 euro. Yeah, give or take a couple. Um, but it's obviously only one option of the butterfly that you can have. If you wanted to, you can probably put a single coil in the middle, a uh, single coil in the front. Any variation of this guitar is up to you because you're going to contact the guy who builds it yourself. Now seriously guys, at uh, 3000 bucks, this is in no way an expensive guitar. Because look at the options that you have. Look at, uh, I don't know, Fender, so all these other companies, they will sell you a guitar for 3000 bucks and don't even flinch and tell you it's not even our highest end guitar. This is extremely high end. So you've already heard some cool clean stuff. We're gonna go through some sounds and then there's also a nice blues track where you hear the lead sound in in context and then we're done. So we're gonna go straight into the sur and play some chords. <laughs> Very stable tone, very nice. A warm attack that then kind of brightens up. I don't know what I'm doing, but something like that. Let's try the middle. I don't know what I'm doing! Nice that even clean in the back in the bridge position, it doesn't bite your head off. Now, obviously, when we're talking about surf, this is the sound you want. Go all the way in the back and bend the living crap out of the Bigsby. Very important, apparently, get the mix of your spring reverb all the way up. really fast with your right arm and do that and all of a sudden you're right there important is harmonic minor See how far this puppy goes. Mm. 
Now, you could save money on an 8-string guitar and just go nuts with this. That's what I want to see. I want to see a metal band with this guitar where all the notes are played with the vibrato and uh, played goodly, not like I'm doing it. <laughs> Now obviously that's not what it's made for, but that would be so freaking cool! So, um, can we go higher? Can we go higher? Now even after everything I just did, look at this. Obviously, this is a rockabilly guitar, a rock guitar, a classic rock guitar, a I don't want to, you know, open a drawer, stuff it in, anything you want to do, even, you know, gent metal, if you want to do metal, um, you can do, obviously, it's not a metal guitar, but um, it is definitely flexible. Um, let's try some rocky stuff, okay? <laughs> Some comp driver from Dr. J gives you a nice midzy lead sound. The dynamic playing on these guitars is just phenomenal. It's just fun. It reacts to everything you do. admit I never understood why people have Bixby's. This is ugly as fuck if you ask me. 
But it's beautiful to use. And you know what? Now, for me, it's got a certain charm. It just it gives the guitar a certain uh, je ne sais quoi, you know? Um, let's see what it does with high gain. <laughs> If you don't stop me, I'll play all day. Um, it's fun. Let's look at the blues track. Here we go. <laughs> So yeah, the Quenzel Butterfly. Very hard to categorize, fun to play, visually fantastic. Um, if you're in the market for something like this, contact Marcus right here. The links have already been shown. Uh, Facebook or his website or email. Um, he will work with you on your guitar. Uh, you can probably buy this if you're fast enough because, you know, this video is going to come out. This guitar is available. Who knows how long? So you could get the guitar that I touched. Yeah. Yeah, I know that's worth pretty much nothing. But still, okay, I'm out. There's uh, At the end of this video, there's links to the other Quenzel uh, videos if you're interested. 
And um, I'll see you on the Flippity Flop as always.